80% of police officers believe knife crime has become worse over the last five years. And today, Gordon Brown has promised to take any legislative measures necessary to stop further stabbings. So far this year, 15 teenagers have been killed in the capital. Sky's Home Affairs correspondent Mark White has been on patrol with officers from Blunt 2, the task force set up to tackle knife crime. On the front line of the battle against knife crime, this is the story from both sides, from the gangs determined to keep their blades, to the police fighting to get them off the streets. They play with them like toys, but this North London gang have no doubt what their knives are for. Because their rivals carry weapons, so do they. Everyone has a knife, and if you ain't got the knife, you're the odd one out. So you're, you're bound to lose a fight, you know what I mean? So you need, you need sighting, you need it. Stark words that indicate exactly what police and communities are up against. These officers are part of the Met's battle against knife crime. They responded to this call outside a local pub in Croydon within minutes, but the teenage gang armed with makeshift weapons had already fled. Searching nearby streets, they spot another group of youngsters acting suspiciously in a doorway. But some of the group are in no mood to chat, slamming the door in the officer's face. The officers suspect they may have been dealing drugs. One person has been arrested, taken to that van there, while the other officers continue to search the other people here at this address. The search turns up 25 wraps of cannabis. Much of the knife crime these teams are trying to combat is linked to the trade in drugs, and many officers are reporting an increase in both. In fact, a report by think tank The Policy Exchange reveals 80% of police surveyed believed knife crime had got worse in the last five years, contradicting official statistics. Less than a mile from where 16-year-old Shaquilla Townsend was stabbed to death one week ago, a group of 14-year-olds have been stopped carrying the sharpened shaft of an umbrella. It turns out one of the boys was himself a victim of knife crime last week. Who stabbed you? What's that? You done that? Yeah. Don't walk away from us. Police report there's often a dramatic reduction in the carrying of weapons when they target an area, but they can't be everywhere at once. The clear view from the front line is that the problem is getting worse. For now, it remains a vicious cycle where there are no winners, only growing numbers of victims. Mark White, Sky News.